Hi friends, my name's Lindsay. I was at camp for 14 summers. I'm so excited to be here today to teach you all some sailing knots. First thing you need to do is find yourself a rope that you can use to practice. The rope that I found was a dog toy that was destroyed by my own dog. So really get creative, find what's in your house and use what you have. Um, I'm gonna teach you three knots today. The first one, the square knot, the figure eight knot, and the bowline. Our first knot today is the square knot. The square knot is used when you have two ends of rope that you would like to be tied together. And what's really great about this knot is as rope gets pulled further apart, the knot gets tighter. So you're gonna take the two ends of your rope and hold it like you're gonna choose, just like you were to tie your shoes, to go either right over left or left over right. I always choose right over left just because it's easier for me to remember and it's important for you to remember which way you go first. So right over left, pull a little bit. Then I'm going to take my other rope on the left side and go left over right. So it should look like this. And then you pull all four at the same time, tightly. It looks like a little square. Our second knot is the figure eight knot. The figure eight knot is a stopper knot. At Camp Nokomis, we tie these at the end of main sheets and halyards. This is so ropes do not get pulled through pulley systems and then we aren't able to pull our sails back in or our halyards up. Um, these are very important. So remember to check that your figure eight knots are there and secure every time you go sailing. To, to tie a figure eight knot, you're gonna take the rope and hold it in front of you. Pretend that this end is attached to something, so say your main sheet, and you are going to take the smaller end and wrap it completely around the longer end, so like so. Then you take the small end and poke it through. So it should look already like an eight before you pull it through, and holding the both ends of the knot Pull tightly. So it looks like a little eight. I'll do that again just so everyone has a second time to try it. So you go all the way around the rope, the long end of the rope, then you poke it through the back, pulling both ends. It should look like a figure eight. If you don't get the figure eight, you are not going around the long end enough, so you might just be going like this and making a regular knot. You need to make sure that you're going through all the way around, like so. Our third knot is the bowline. The bowline is quite tricky, so the first time I show you on top of the table, around a chair, tying it, and then I'll do an overhead demonstration so you can see what it looks like from above. Taking your rope, uh, I want you to either sit on one end of it or attach it to something just so you have it as a practice um, tool. The end of this line, we're going to pretend that it is attached to the mooring. So when we tie up our boats at Camp Nokomis, we always clip our boats on to the mooring with a clip, but we also tie a knot on there just in case the clip was to come undone. We have this backup safety system of the bullet line. So it's very important to practice. So you're sitting on one end or it's attached to the other. This is what we call the mooring side. That's important to remember. You're going to take the loose end of the rope. This is our boat's, boat's clip, remember, just pretend. You're going to wrap it around. And on your mooring side, you're going to make a loop. So I'll put this down so you can see better. On the mooring side, you make a loop. So the loop goes like so. And make sure when you make the loop that the mooring side is underneath on the cross. So there's this side is on top and the mooring side is on the bottom. So holding that loop like that, you take your loose end, make sure you've gone around this all the way. So I have my, my loop and my loose end and there's a little saying that we 
do to go along with the knot is the bunny. So the bunny is the loose end of the rope. The bunny goes up through the hole. So up through the hole like so. Not down, up this way. And then it goes down around the tree. So the tree is the mooring line. Down and around. And then it goes back down through the hole, just like the way it came down the first time. So down through the hole. And before you do anything, you can already see the knot forms. So you, there's two going through the hole and your mooring end. So you're gonna take your mooring end, not this end, and the two going through the hole and pull tightly. It looks like a top hat, some people say, or it looks like the square knot. And that way it's attached. So I'm not gonna pull, but you can pull really tightly and it won't come undone. Thanks for watching and keep practicing your sailing knots. I'll see you soon on the lake.